Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you a couple models of solar fountains I have and I will leave the links in the description if you're interested. So, a few months ago I did a drainage project here on the property. That white pipe you see there leads up to the house and perimeter drains because the basement has a flooding history. That was my solution. That pipe enters the basement below the floor, so the sump pumps will never have to kick in unless this was to get an ice dam and freeze solid, which is unlikely. The water table is usually pretty low in the winter. It's the spring thaw we're worried about. So, there was going to be a plunge pool here, which was basically just going to be a hole filled with gravel. But I modified the project and bought a liner. Now, this right here may not look that big, but it's over four feet deep in the center. It has a liner, but this would have naturally filled up in the springtime, not the summertime. But I realized it was starting to become polluted. There's a lot of frogs. See them all hopping? It's just rain, so there's not as many as there once was because they go hunting when it's damp out. The solution to this pond not being polluted was getting some solar fountains. It's not practical to get electricity down here because it's a few hundred feet away from the house at the bottom of the hill. This pond will simply just overflow into the drainage ditch, which is about 20 feet away next to the road. These solar fountains I found to work really well. This pond became stinky as it became polluted and stagnant. These small fountains really helped with the ecosystem that I'm trying to start in here. I bought some bulbs for lily pads, which you can see, hopefully they'll take off more next year. Got some cattails, which are really good at cleaning out pollution, but it still wasn't enough. So I bought six solar fountains. This model right here is about $27. I think this is the best deal for your money. Let me pull that thing in. Occasionally, I have to pull it in because when I do trimming around the pond, I get grass in it and it gets sucked up and stuck in its filter. You see, it's just a foam disc that floats this right here, there's a little filter in there. No, this model does not have a filter. It's just a grate right into the impeller. They also come with, each one has like a dozen different little fittings. I wanted this one right here, which will throw it high up in the air and create a lot of aeration. Other models will go fling it to the sides. They have one with one hole that'll go super high. Or if you're going to put in like a bird bath, you can remove the nozzle so it just dribbles a bunch. I'm trying to get this thing far out there. I don't want it near the edge. There we go. It primed really nice. This model is the only one I have that has a physical wire. It runs up here to this solar panel. Yeah, I can't believe it. That was probably the best deal. Hopefully it'll hold up. It's been running for about two months now. 27 bucks. Nice solar panel. It works in the shade. Awesome. This pond is almost always shady, but it runs nice. That will be even taller when sun hits it. It'll blast even more. Now, yes, they do make solar fountains, really large ones for hundreds of dollars, but I didn't want to spend the money on that. I didn't think it was necessary. Now, here is another solar fountain. This one was about $30. You see, it's got the flotation device. Now, this one actually has a filter cartridge. What's cool about this one is it actually has batteries. So it sits here charging in the sun, and it'll run all night. You see, there's not enough sunshine hitting it. This model doesn't do good in the shade, so it just goes bloop, bloop. But it is indeed charging enough. It runs all night right into the morning despite doing this most of the day, that model should be in full sun. I will probably move that. Let me go show you my other pond, which is only a 40 gallon pond. It's really tiny, but it is full sun. This little pond here was built with an insert I found on the side of the road. The reason it was on the side of the road is because it was damaged. See that right here? Below the water line, maybe six inches, is another crack. I feel, I, patched it three years ago with tire plugs. I can't believe it. Underwater for three years, they're still holding up. It's still holding water. So now we have four different units in this pond. 
and you see how they're constantly running in the sun? This water, I couldn't see to the bottom before those filters, it became so murky, but it purifies it, it aerates it so nicely. So the first one I'm gonna go over with you right here, I've had for two years. My uncle bought that for his bird bath and it supposedly went all over the ground. It was too powerful. I thought it was too powerful too, so that's why I removed the nozzle from it. This right here, I believe, is a $12 model from Amazon. You see, this one, I have an anchor on it so it can't get too close to the edge and spray the water out. This one, you see the sun has really messed it up, but I think it's amazing that it's still working two years later, and that's been in the winter too. I'm gonna remove these this winter, but this thing has been frozen solid a couple of years in a row, and it's still holding up pretty well. It did mysteriously malfunction and not work for two months. I cleaned it, gave the impeller some pushes, but then it randomly started working again. You see, the pond's really healthy. It's got a lot of stringy algae, a lot of things that really absorb pollutants. Got some cattail bulbs in here I'm hoping will start up. And look at that, wild strawberries just crawled right in and they're living underneath the water. Now this model right here is also pretty cool. Like I said, all these things came with like a dozen nozzles. I put this nozzle on it because I don't want it to spray out of the pond. This one didn't come with these parts, but I like how you see how it has these plastic straws. That prevents it from getting too close to the edge where it could drain the pond. I'm blocking the sun, you see? It runs really nicely when it has full sun. And this one also has a battery backup. What's cool about this, it runs from dusk to dawn, doesn't run out of power. And it got LED lights, color changing. You can get colorful ones or you can get just white. I got the color changing ones. See, that one also has a filter cartridge, which I just, I, it's a plastic filter cartridge. You just got to clean it out. No need to keep replacing it. Now this one right here does not have a battery backup. It's a little bit cheaper, only runs during the day, but it has the straws to keep it away from the edge. And this one, um, yep, it's got a filter cartridge in there. And is that a water beetle crawling around in the filter? Yes, it was. I don't think he was stuck. I think he was just hanging out. All right, don't want to keep those out of the water exposed to sun too long. It could burn out the impeller. Now, the last one I have is actually really cool. This thing, I believe, cost me less than 20 bucks. See that solar panel right there? That has a wire going down to a little impeller right here. And that pumps it up to the top of the waterfall. You see, it's not a lot of flow, but that wasn't the intention. You see how it's pouring into moss? It goes into this pool where sometimes frogs hang out. Into more moss, natural filters, the moss. Absorbs all kinds of pollutants, keeps it really fresh. That thing's pretty nice too. All it takes are these cheap little fountains and it'll make a pond very pure. I didn't originally want to have four units running in this one pond. It's just because I didn't realize they were going to work so poorly in the shady pond. But the frogs love them. They always hang out on them. They like to sit in the sprinklers. They love it. And that moss is doing really good. See, it's starting to crawl. I bet by next time or this year next time, that'll be all the way down to the water. Beautiful. And they don't cause that much evaporation, at least not in this climate. I only have to fill up like an inch in this pond a week. Hope this video was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.